Now, y'all, Gerard Carmichael is not the only one out here sucking toes. Okay, if you guys are new here, my name is Ashley, and this is My Sweet Perspective, where I give my take on all things TV and movie related. And honey, I am back to talk about the Never Ever Met episode three, IDK about IRL. Okay, because I don't know either, because the way Pastor and First Lady was up in the suite the intimacy suite and he was deep throating his toes with his multi-tone nail polish i'm outdone okay but in a recap if you haven't watched it turn this video off and come back because i'm going to go ahead and give you some spoilers about everything that happened in episode three okay so episode three i don't know we see siana and brandon and they're recovering from the emotional outburst that happened last week where she called him the b word uh and trying to make a go of it they cooked dinner for the couples uh which was a beautiful moment they're getting along famously uh and they serve all the people and pastor and first lady diamond aka and aka pasta aka Aaron senior okay they decide to play a game right and they want to ask all these questions which are basically leading to Sienna and Brandon you know go figure low-hanging fruit you know what I'm saying also Jody and Aaron get called out for being two negative batteries that don't charge anything okay and they are because they're brother and sister come on guys be serious like y'all do not want each other he does not want you you clearly want Chris, okay? That was the other T that came out. Jody wants her some Chris, and Chris might want some Jody, and Sandia might feel a way about it. The family and friends come, and, you know, just for a couple of them, they come for Brandon and they come for Sienna. And yeah, I thought it was gonna be reverse. I thought the family and friends were gonna come and meet with the opposite person. You know what I mean? Because you know your family and friends, okay? And so they get there and Sienna manages to get herself all worked up. And by the end of the night, she's ready to go off on Brandon again. She basically is like, Brandon, I'm boring. I'm boring. And I'm like, girl, I think he said the position was boring when they were doing the Kama Sutra last week. But she's worked herself up into a frenzy. And now she needs to know everything that he told Millie about her because she feels like he told Millie secrets, apparently. She would not let the man get a word out edgewise. He couldn't do it. Brendan leaves the room after listening to way more than what I would have listened to. Minutes later, she comes down and throws the bouquet of roses at his feet and proceeds to do her face mask and get into bed. Yeah. Sienna is not tie tight, y'all. And I, I think it's time for them to go home. They should go home. Home. pastor and first lady are in the intimacy suite and he is deep throating toes yeah um yeah uncomfortable to watch but again Gerard Carmichael is not the only one that is out here sucking toes Millie and Greg continue to be persistent uh, you know on their quest she is persistent with her boundaries though and he's not getting no coot nanny until she's absolutely ready and apparently after she's discussed her trauma with him and that'll be next week Josh and Shay they're steady getting busy they love it there okay they love it there Diamond aka first lady decides that she's going to probe into their relationship and ask you know why what happened? How do you have a three-year-old and y'all have been together 12 years? And Shay's basically like, well, he told me immediately we worked it out. Shut the door. She's not entertaining the foolishness. And she says, they got past it. We need to get past it. And, you know, okay, girl. Yeah, and that's all I can take away from it. Guys, if you want the full video, head on over to the YouTube channel, okay, and see the live that I did with my good sis, Monique 69 Ways Johnson, uh, to see the full thoughts of the Never Ever Mets episode three. See you guys in the next video.